Okay, let's get started. So uh, this question asks, um, it says, um, well, it's asking for the frequency of vibration. And it's one of those questions where um, you kind of read through the question to try to understand what it's saying and um, and um, kind of, it's, so it's not as though you will find a pre-made uh, problem solving strategy that you can apply mechanically and then get an, get a number out at the end. You kind of have to understand the situation and uh, so it's uh, the kind of typical math word problem, which I hear a lot of students love. Um, so <laughs> it says, a tire has a tread pattern with a crevice every some length. Uh, let me call this, I don't know, delta x. Um, each crevice makes a single vibration. So each crevice corresponds to a single cycle. As the tire moves, what is the frequency of these vibrations if the car moves at speed of v, uh, 24 meters per second? And some rounding thing. We are getting that fixed. Um, all right. So I guess you can understand this a different way. I think, by the way, if you can, uh, if you see kind of looking at the units here. Um, and the heart is unit of one over second. If you kind of just to realize that your answer here is given by the frequency is given by speed divided by delta x, and you can kind of say it based on the units why that should be the case, then great, you are done, you can move on. <laughs> um, and that's a kind of a, a power of units in physics. Sometimes it, allows you to get to the uh, correct answer quickly. And um, it's not even all that, um, it doesn't involve all that much of a misunderstanding. So <laughs> if you can get the answer that way and you think that's right, then it doesn't confuse you, you can move on, then great, you're done. You're done in like a minute. Um, that's great if you're able to do that. If not, you know, it, it does help to kind of draw the picture so that you can see why the particular combination actually makes a sense. And I guess uh, the way I might uh, draw the picture of this is uh, draw the picture of the tread pattern, kind of imagining the car driving over a, a, a clay road so that it's making an impression of its tread pattern as it's moving. So let me just uh, draw something that looks like a tread pattern. Um, so I guess something like that. And what the, the information that the question has given you is it has a tread pattern with a crevice every uh, some length. Um, and within this drawing, that would be this length here. It's the amount of distance over which this pattern repeats. And this also happens to correspond to a single cycle. And when you are looking for frequency, um, you can do it um, in a couple different ways. If somehow there's a way to get to the frequency directly, then great, do it. Uh, sometimes through angular frequency. A lot of times, if you have to come up with your own formula for frequency, it's more useful first to trying to figure out what is the period. That is the amount of time. Delta T uh, for a single cycle. That's because once you're thinking in terms of cycle, then you can, that gives you a kind of a grounding place to think about description like this, take a look at it, and then you can kind of use the given information here to try to figure out how long it takes for the, for the tire or the car to go through a single cycle of uh, uh, vibration. So, um, so from the drawing here, you have this information, this is the distance that uh, you are looking to travel and you are moving at this speed of V 
and uh, what you want is the amount of time taken to travel the single cycle. So put that together. Um, speed is the distance of travel per time. Solve this for time here. So delta t is equal to the distance traveled over speed. And um, this is now where you have to remember that period is related to frequency by reciprocal. One period is one over the frequency. You can kind of see it in the units here. So um, if that's a, a single cycle, then frequency is given by speed divided by delta x or the formula that I was telling you that you can get based on the units alone because if you put in the units for speed, meters per second, and you put in the units for distance, uh, meter, then um, you know meters cancel out and you get the unit of one over second, which is a hertz. So let me plug in the numbers and I guess I'll just to see if I get got the right answer. Now, I was writing meters here. You do kind of want to convert the units so that um, when you plug in the numbers, you uh, are plugging in correct numbers. So 0 0.0375 meters is the distance uh, between the crevices. And so the frequency should be the speed of 24 meters per second divided by three, uh, 0.0375 or 640 hertz. Let's see if uh, that is the answer. <laughs>